Yeah, well, when you go to vote, it is relatively easy, right? You just check in, fill out your oval, and slide your ballot into a slot and leave. But part of the reason that it's so simple is due in large part to all the logistical preparation that goes on beforehand and is going on right now and has been for months. Okay. Welcome to the Registrar of Voters in Waterbury. On this day, busy. To say the least. Getting voters registered and on the rolls before the Tuesday deadline. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, they long they've been coming in. Voters like John and Marlene Cronin, who recently moved to town and said elections are too important to sit on the sidelines. Fundamentally, yeah, that's our right to do and we should do it. I, I think everyone should vote. But putting on an election isn't easy. Here in Waterbury, they have 23 polling locations. We have to inspect them all every single year. The phone lines, um, make sure they're handicap accessible. We have to train 250 poll workers to work on that day. And, you know, it's a big undertaking. And Registrar of Voters Terry Begnell told Fox 61 getting those poll workers has not been easy. We're having some trouble finding poll workers for this election in the last couple of elections, actually. And the city has offered to let city employees work at the polls for the day. Before Connecticut had paper ballots, we had these electronic tabulators. This one last used in 1988. Just push the tab down of the person who you wanted to vote for, and when you were done filling out your ballot, pull the lever, and they would automatically tabulate your vote. Now we have these electronic tabulators for the paper ballots. But even they are old. Last election, we lost three tabulators in one polling location because of the heat. So those have been sent out for repair and um, they've, they've been returned to us too. But, you know, we have backups. And Terry told me that for paper ballots, while it may feel a little old school, unlike electronic tabulation, well, the paper stuff just can't be hacked. And it can also be easily saved in the event that it needs to be recounted. Every vote that is cast in the state of Connecticut gets tabulated, locked and labeled and then put into a vault where it is saved for at least two weeks or until the results of the election are officially certified. We're live here outside the state capitol in Hartford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.